Chauvin Trial of Distraction. This is an opinion piece written by our uh, our editor of the Freedomist, uh, Bill Collier. That's not myself. That's my identical twin. And he writes here, the Chauvin Trial Distraction, using the Chauvin Trial to distract from the need for real reform. Derek Chauvin may be acquitted not because of racism or anything nefarious on the part of the jury. He may be acquitted because the prosecution overcharged. Didn't include lesser charges and has grossly mishandled the case. The upcoming riots will be insane. And you can bet the feds will go after Chauvin for civil rights violations in this case. I think both Bill and, and I would, would agree with Bill. We, we, we would be for that in, in general. Yeah, in this case. He may not be guilty under the law. Well, under the law that they're prosecuting him for. And he may have followed the procedures he was trained to do. But whoever sees the video is outraged. And the demand for a change should be very vocal. Focusing on Chauvin being guilty or not is distraction. The real issue is that the law and police training doesn't protect people from literally being choked out. If you have a procedure that in any way, shape, or form suggests that it's okay to put your knee on someone's neck. I don't know. For a prolonged period of time. This shows how insane the system is, and those who merely focus on paybacks for Chauvin are falling for a scapegoat distraction. The entire system needs a rewrite to clearly define and train police in a manner that doesn't turn every comp cop into a Rambo wannabe. The use of force among U.S. police, as opposed to police around the world, exposes the terrible training in the state of law, which endangers everyone, especially people in minority groups. Chauvin should have been charged with criminal negligence, not murder. The bar for criminal neg negligence isn't near as high as for murder, and even if a jury is disgusted by Chauvin's conduct, as I all Certainly God-fearing human beings, we Christians, we're disgusted by that video and nothing will change our minds. They can't convict him of murder if they can't prove intent. And this case was set up to fail so that the masses could be riled, division could be stoked, but the need for real reform could be obscured by the focus on Chauvin. They will make this about their boogeyman, which is racism and bigotry and 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 hate. Meanwhile, they're, they're filled with hate, and, and they lead these poor people, the we poor's. They lead us poor's to to battle the demons of their choice in an effort to assure that the needs of the the plea of the needy is not met. This is Isaiah 32:7, which we I should put that. That should be. I'm going to eventually have these little verses. Uh, that are verse numbers that I'm going to have in various places to show. Uh, and this is certainly one of them that is one of the cornerstones of what's going on. You should memorize this verse. The, the, as for the scoundrel, his devices are evil. He plans wicked schemes to ruin the poor with lying words, even when the plea of the needy is right. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to turn it into their boogeyman so that more poor people will clamor to have the state have more control over their lives, even though it was... The fact that the state already has too much control of our lives that created the, the, the Chauvin mess in the first place.